Now that our floor plan has been scaled correctly and turned into a texture, we can start to create the walls. I like to create my external walls first and then create my internal walls. I'm going to use the Orbit tool to turn my model around and also zoom a bit closer so I can see each end of one of the exterior walls. I'm going to choose the Rectangle tool and there are other options there, but make sure it's on rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle on the floor plan surface from one end to the other. And I'm, it's not going to be precise. That doesn't matter. We're going to be as close as we possibly can. So I have a rectangle on my floor plan. I'm going to use this tool, the push-pull tool, making sure that the wall inside the rectangle has got the dots on it so I know it's selected. And I'm going to pull it up. And I'm going to type 3 and push enter. And that immediately makes sure that my wall is 3 metres tall and it says so down here in the right hand bottom corner. I also need to give my wall the correct thickness. To do that I'm going to use the orbit tool and orbit around. I'm going to use the tape measure tool again. But this time I'm going to use it to help me make a construction line. So I'm going to hold the tape measure tool on the edge and I'm going to pull it out till I see a dotted line. Once that dotted line is there, I'm going to type 0 0.1, push enter, and you can see the dotted line has gone in quite close. Zoom in, use the push-pull tool again, and then push it in till it hits the dotted line. If you use the zoom extents tool to zoom out, you can see you've created a wall that goes all the way along one side of your house. I'm going to continue around doing this wall and this wall. So I've orbited it around. I'm going to zoom in as close as I can till I can see my wall. Choose the rectangle tool. I'm going to start with the rectangle and I want to make sure I go to this end point so my two walls join together. Pull down and then I'm going to pull it this way. Push pull tool. Make sure the inside of the rectangle is dotted. Pull it up. Type 3. Push enter. If I zoom out slightly you can see my walls are the same height and they now need to make this new wall the correct thickness. Tape measure tool, click on the wall, pull it out slightly so I can see a dotted line. Type 0 0.1, use the push pull tool and push it in. Now to make sure that I'm getting it the right thickness you can see a pink square appears on the end of my cursor and it says online. If I push further it's gone too far but if I get that pink line, that pink square, I know I'm the right distance. Zoom extends and you can see I now have two walls. I can also zoom right in here to see that my walls are the correct thickness. I have two construction lines I no longer need. I'm going to choose the eraser tool click on the construction lines and I'm going to delete them as I go along otherwise I'm going to end up with too many and my drawing will get confusing. I'm now going to rotate around or orbit around again and do another exterior wall. Choose the, choose the rectangle tool. Make sure it says end point before you start. Draw your rectangle. Before I release you can see that my um, floor plan is slightly offline. I'm not really worried about that. I'm going to go with the Google SketchUp um, corrections. Use the push pull tool. Previously I've pulled this up and I've typed 3 to get it the right height. Another option to do is pull it up and then bring your cursor over so it lines up with the top of one of the lines you one of the walls you've already drawn. Makes them exactly the same height. I'm going to zoom in again on my wall, use the ruler tool, pull it in, 0 0.1, use the push-pull tool, push in till it's on the line, zoom extents. I've now got three exterior walls. I'm going to do some walls at the front.
going to orbit again. I'm going to come around here and do this wall here. This wall, I'm actually going to zoom out. And this wall is not just an exterior wall, but comes all the way down here as an interior. So I'm going to do it in one go. So you can see that's been really useful doing that while it's covered up a lot of stuff, particularly if I orbit around. You can see here. So now I'm going to do uh, this other wall here. Orbit around again. And I've got another wall that comes, it's got doorways in it, but I'm going to bring it all the way down to here. You can see I've got a few construction lines starting to build up again. Select the eraser tool, start erasing some of these construction lines. You're not going to need them all again. Zoom extents and you can see I have got most of my exterior walls done. The only wall I've got left to do is the front door and some of my exterior walls. So I'm going to work with the front door. You create a rectangle, push pull tool, pull it up so it's on the edge. It's slightly out of frame, but you can see it's on the edge here, particularly if I orbit it. Lines up, use the tape measure tool, point one, enter, push pull tool on the edge. Delete the construction line and if I zoom out you can see I have all my exterior walls for my house complete. I now need to put some interior walls in. So I'm going to start at this end and work this way and same on the other side. So exterior walls, sorry, interior walls are done exactly the same way as the exterior walls. Just going to zoom in so I can see both bottom edges of the wall I want to create. Start on this side. You've got to make sure it's lying on the floor plan. You can see if I pull up this, it distorts slightly. I don't want it to do that. I want it to go along the floor plan. Push pull tool. Bring it up so it's the same height. Tape measure tool. Point one. Push pull. And push it in. So I'm not going to worry about my windows and my doors. That will be in the next tutorial. Complete the rest of your interior walls.